so welcome again and uh, uh, now we will move towards the next slide after we I mean, in the last slide we discussed about command code application id hop by hop identifier and end to end identifier and we and we saw like how uh, uh, this would help in identifying the uh, I means this would help as a header of a diameter message so now comes to the avp so in the next slide is about the avp okay so these are all avps now you will think like why so many avps are there so just uh, try to think like when i'm talking since i mean when i'm talking to some person okay it's not limited that i will speak only one or two words okay it could be many messages that i'm giving to him okay but yes the whole of the message will 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 be linked to only one context so here the context is the session id means on one session id all these information has been passed and this session id is unique for every diameter session why i am saying this because on this session id only it is uniquely identified that what all messages got exchanged in the reporting side so on, when the reporting when these things will be uh, going as a logs towards the reporting end means the data warehouse then session id is the only unique thing which you will get in this entire message okay so here we have uh, avp this avp session id authentication app auth application id origin host origin relim res, uh, destination relim service context id so i'll show you uh, in a wireshark dump like how these all fields look like and you will see that every field have some information inside it okay so session id must be having some a big unique id okay which will indicate that this id is generated for this session it's this session id is similar to like uh, in, in class we have students so students have might have same name same date of birth but to make them uniquely identified we put their roll numbers okay so roll number is always unique okay so uh, similar to this like if a student is participating in an event then in that particular event uh, the event id uh, for that student will be unique so just like that session id is there okay so session id is nothing much just a unique id now second is the auth application id so this id is just similar to the diameter header which is application id so here you can see in application id it is diameter con credit control application and in auth application id it is diameter credit control application again now you might be confusing like why these two things are duplicated here so my friends the auth application id here this is related to the header and this is mandatory by uh, the uh, the IETF okay and it sh it should have something uh, in it means it will tell actually the what is the application ID okay and auth auth application ID is another such identifier which will tell us that for which application this message is applicable okay so that's the reason it is same so nothing to worry about it's not duplicate this is this auth application ID is AVP whereas this application ID is the header okay so uh, now uh, the another one is the origin host so origin host is the is the, is the client actually which is sending this information okay so in a request message it is a client in a response message it is a server which is replying to the message okay and uh, origin relim is the address of that host so or relim is always uniquely identified in a network as a host okay so uh, here you can see that the relim name is uh, something dot mcc dot hbp network so if you will see that all the messages coming from this relim this uh, you will if you, if you see in all the relevant message this address address will be unique okay so similarly we have destination relay okay so by the name you can easily identify what, what i am talking about so original host means the, the origin party which is sending the message destination means which is receiving the message service context id this is something different we can talk it about uh, talk about it later but uh, on a very high level i will tell you services related to the actual service like i am using a voice i am using a database service some uh, some vas service so those service name will be here now we have cc request type so it's an initial request so now uh, we have actually two different kind of request one is initial request one is update request so initial as the name says like it is a first time request so in every session when a first request of that particular command code comes in it comes with a flag says that's initial so it's not a flag actually it's a request type so if the request type is initial underscore request means that is the first request in that particular session now if the similar request comes in again it will always comes with a update underscore request tag so the request type that will be 
of update request not the initial request okay so similarly uh, now we have destination host okay destination host then the username then the see username uh, as i told it's a triple a based protocol so username is there it will authenticate that this request is from the valid uh, in, with the authenticated user okay now we have origin state id all those things so my friends no need to worry about i'll show you like how these things uh, sees actually so let's take this credit control request of diameter okay so this is our this is our as i told this is physical layer this is data link layer ip layer transport layer and the diameter layer which is the application layer the top one so it's in reverse order actually normally I, when i'm showing you the diagram physical is on the bottom but here it is reverse so let's just focus on the diameter protocol so this is the version length flag as i told now comes to the avp there are so many avp so i'm just using my keyboard to expand them as this is an in a tree structure means if i want to see all the information inside this avp just uh, click on right arrow come down you will see all those things like avp code avp flag this all i explained like uh, this is the basic structure of an avp means first we will see the avp code then avp flag then avp length and then the uh, actual avp value so avp was session id so this is the session id and this is the value so if you if you want to copy this value just right click here select copy and copy the value so i will just paste it here see this is the value so this is the method of copying the value inside a particular avp but don't follow here if you will follow here if you will copy here this is actually not the value something else will be copied out see so this is wrong so if you want to copy something you have to uh, come inside this that avp and then go to that point where the actual value is written uh, say uh, okay individually and then copy it okay so do like this so i'll tell you one very good thing as i told you like session id is a unique identifier so either it is a request or a response have to be with the same recession id so this is a request message credit control request how can we identify as i told you earlier go to the flag see request is one proxyable is one means this is a proxyable request okay so this is a request message okay fine now where is the answer okay now let's filter it out with a session id because the answer message will also be having the same session id so in wireshark there is a there is a way to group those messages which are having the same session id so just we went to the session id here just right click here click on filter apply filter then and select okay uh, wait wait let's okay fine no issues just click here put apply filter and put selected now So these all request uh, with the same session ID will come. So if you click on this request, either or any request, you will get the same session ID. Okay. So this uh, you can understand means a single session or in, in that particular session, all these requests came in. Okay. So this is the way of filtering out the message. Now I'll just delete it and let's see it again okay so just quickly we have to wrap up this session uh, to okay for with all the avps so session id then auth application id again you can see see diameter credit, credit control application then coming to origin host this is our origin host okay then origin realm this is the address of that origin host we call it as a uh, origin realm then destination realm okay then destination host is here so just don't get confused uh, they are not in uh, ba back to back but this is the destination host and this is the destination realm of now the service context id so this is the context id 3225 at the rate 3 then we have request type which is initial or update so this is the initial request so you will see initial now if you want to see an update request just click uh, here see this is update request so this is easily identified okay and then comes to the request type okay that's fine so we are done okay so this much is the request now in respect to the this request there should always be an uh, oh sorry this was a request which we opened up and we were here origin state id then we have event timestamp event timestamp is actually the timestamp when this request came to the server uh, sorry when the actual event happens it's like even happened at like, like say 10 o'clock but it reaches the server at 10 1 so this event time will be 10 not 10 1 so this is the event time 
this will help actually the server to 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 charge the subscriber or to do any kind of thing based on the event time okay now coming towards the subscription id now this is a very important avp in telecom uh, as you are all aware we have mobile number msisd and we call it as msisd and mobile subscription identity okay so <clears throat> so msi you will find mobile number here so subscription id if i open i will see here the subscription id we have two uh, parameters one is means two values one is the end user uh, subscription id type which is uh, which shows that the msisd is in which format so msisd is in e164 format if you google it guys you will find out that what is e164 standard e, this is again an, another standard laid by maybe ina or some other governing bodies uh, in, in telling to whole world that the msisd format should be fixed means the first two or three digit will be for the uh, country code and the rest of the digit will be the as per the uh, msisd format so here this is my mobile number 9656647632 so this is a mobile number series of uh, kuwait so uh, you can see now uh, we have uh, this one subscription id is done now we have another subscription id why because one is our msisd and one is our imz so here we have the imz so if you don't know about imz you can easily google the imz what is imz in telecom you will get to know what is imz imz is actually the sim card number okay so in the mobile handset i have a sim card sim card has two properties one is the msisd and one is imz international mobile subscription identity so this is 4190310177342070 okay so i am not explaining much about imz here but uh, you can search it and even if i'll move towards the core telecom uh, things uh, in later lectures i will definitely help you out with this okay so as of now you just focus on what is diameter protocol and its messages rather than focusing on the granularity of the uh, things inside it okay so now we have multiple service credit control this is another uh, in another OAVP and this is a grouped AVP actually but uh, this request will not be having much about it because this is an initial request in the update request I will show you how multi MSCC will be there so MS I'm actually talking about short form uh, the full form is multiple service credit control but you will not find it here then we have user equipment information means IMEI number so IMEI number is very important thing so with this our server will come to know that whether user is using iPhone user using a, uh, uh, Android phone or in, in Android phone which model which company so if if you guys are not aware then I will just tell you a very high level like every phone has a IMEI number it's it's uh, 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 international mo mobile uh, uh, sorry i'm <laughs> right now it's not i'm not coming to my mind but you all knows about imei mobile num uh, imei number so with this number actually we can identify that what kind of handset subscriber is using and based on that we, we can we, we will be able to provide him certain offers certain subscription benefits and all those things then we have service information many things are there in the service information okay see so many information is there so every and, and you know this inside this avp there are several many avps so these kind of avps are called as grouped avps because they are having a group of another group of avps inside them so this service information is actually an avp inside which we have service information avp which is again having a set of avps uh, and these are all those avps okay and every avp has some meaning some information inside it but you don't need to go inside it okay as of now because we are just focusing on the diameter structure part later on i will explain you how it is uh, in detail okay so we have to close the lecture right now because uh, i'm only allowed to post 15 minutes video so thank you so much guys and uh, I'll, I'll make sure that uh, i'll try to clear all of your concept in the diameter this is just a start so trust me and uh, support me uh, with the like and uh, share in my videos thank you so much bye bye